Welcome to a quick guided tour through Recruer. The goal of this video is to demonstrate the basic core functions of Recruer. It's simple stuff, so please try to keep up. We'll be going through the following topics. How to create an open position. How to create a job ad. How to add applicants. How to validate applicants. And a few tips on how to design your workflow. Now, if this is your first time in Recruer, you may be wondering, why is it so empty? Well, that's because you haven't added anything yet. Let's start by creating a new job opening. Here, we're filling in the internal company information for the opening, only visible to those who you grant permission to. Make sure to fill in enough information so your colleagues actually know what's going on. Well done. Now you're in the job view. Not much to look at because you haven't gathered any applicants for the open position yet. In order to do so, we need to create our new job ad. Here you have the option to create a job ad from scratch. While that may be fun, you're not here for arts and crafts, you're here for serious business. So we'll just upload an existing poster that our talented designer made earlier. And we'll top it all off with a logo of our company. And here we go. Such a beautiful poster. Little does he know he's designed a poster for us to find his replacement. All the info is already here, but we also want to make it easy for our applicants to apply. So let's put a nice apply button just underneath the poster. We are back in the job view. We'll start by creating an application form. In here, we fill in the information we want our applicants to see and also the questions we want our applicants to provide answers for. Well done! Now our pretty poster has the option to apply underneath it. Let's see what happens when we click it. This is how the process looks like from the applicant's side. They can answer our questions and they can upload their CV and cover letter. Now that we're in the job view again, we can see an applicant has appeared for our position. We also have the option to add candidates manually from here. In this case, we need to fill in the applicant's info on our own. Now we have two applicants to choose from. Let's invite one of them to an interview. We do this by pressing Action and selecting Add Phase. Here you can select interview and type in a quick note to let everybody know what's going on. Let's say the interviews went well enough and you want to present both applicants to your manager or client. Make sure both applicants are selected and click add phase. In here you can send them for pre-selection with the manager. Type a quick note to lessen the likelihood of any future questions and you're done. Now, let's say that one of the applicants didn't do so well. We should let everybody know that he didn't make the cut. Click Cancel Candidate, pick a reason and insert your comment. Your colleagues will see this information, so please try to be polite. We'll also be sending a notification email to the applicant and gently letting them off the hook. Now that that's out of the way, we can get to the good stuff, accepting the candidate. Here we can pick a date when we'll let them know and send them a message of their success. Giving good news always feels good. And look at that, we've successfully replaced our designer. Well done. That concludes our guided tour. We hope you've enjoyed our little demo and should you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch.